the expert SEM supply chain and allied domain knowledge sharing session. In this session, let us discuss a term called goods in transit or JIT. JIT refers to merchandise and other type of inventory that have left the shipping dock of the seller but not yet reached the receiving dock of the buyer. The concept is used to indicate whether the buyer or seller of the goods has taken the possession and who is paying for transport. Ideally, either the seller or the buyer should record goods in transit in its accounting records. The rule for doing so is based on shipping terms associated with the goods. For example, FOB shipping point if the shipment is designated as freight on board shipping point ownership transfers to the buyer as soon as the shipment departs to the seller fob destination means if the shipment is designated as freight on board destination ownership transfers to the buyer as soon as shipment arrives at the buyer examples of goods in transit abc international ships ten thousand dollar of merchandise to aruba clothiers on november the terms of delivery or FOB shipping point. Since these terms mean that Aruba takes ownership of merchandise as soon as it leaves the APC shipping dock, APC should record a sales transaction on number 28 and Aruba should record an inventory receipt on the same day. Assume the same scenario but the terms of delivery are now FOB destination and the shipment does not arrive at Aruba receiving dock until December 2nd. In this case, the same transaction occurs but on December 2nd instead of November 28th. This under FOB destination, ABC does not record a sales transaction until December. Thanks for watching. Bye.